come in, put your feet up, y'all, because it's going to be easy peasy. Today, Jamie's in the kitchen helping me make delicious, easy weeknight meals, starting with orange beef strips and a tangy orange dipping sauce. You can't get any easier and quicker than that, can you guys? Then we've got a pasta dish perfect for a crowd. It's our company pasta with delicious shrimp and mushrooms. It's delicious. So good. Finally, the fun keeps going. Help us finish our cream cheese pound cake with grilled plums. Hey, y'all. I'm here with Mom in the kitchen today, and we're doing easy weeknight meals. That sounds great. So you have five options during the week, and you got to have something good to eat, and you want to have it fast and easy, and we try to do things affordably, delicious. too. Delicious. It's got to be delicious, delicious yeah. son. And this is going to be really super good. We're doing orange beef strips with orange sauce. Oh, my gosh. I love, love, love beef strips. And Jamie is starting with a boneless sirloin. It contains the least fat of all the steak cuts. Yep. I'm gonna cut strips, y'all, just not even a, about a quarter of an inch, Mom. Okay, cut them really okay. thin. And uh, got flour, about a cup, right into my bowl. Just put enough to, to do the job for whatever amount of steak strips you're doing. And I'm gonna take three eggs. and beat those up. And then I'm gonna measure two cups of panko. And these are gonna make it real crisp. Okay, son, into the flour, into the egg, into the panko. I just want a little salted a little, okay? So- Why don't we salt our flour? Okay, great idea. As you can see, I cut these. I don't there want big chunks. I just did them in nice little yes, strips. Yes, nice little thin strips. I went to a restaurant one time I fell in love with these beef strips that they had, and they, they didn't fry them, they grilled them. A place in New York? No, actually in Charleston, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And then they served them with a honey mustard. So good. All right, so I'm gonna just knock the flour off those, y'all. Run them into the egg, just make sure they're wet all over. And panko has got to be the greatest crust in the world. The Japanese know what they're doing with that panko. They got it going on. We were in the boat this morning, y'all, and it's, it's a friend of ours boat. You got to know somebody that lives on that pond or they'll run you off. Oh, does it? Is it owned by like a, commu a, a community, neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were borrowing this fellow's boat and we mm -hmm. fished one down one side of the pond. It's a big old pond. I've got the fryer set at 350, y'all, and it's going to take about two minutes. Yep. So we worked about halfway around it and the trolling motor started to go out. And Randy is so crazy, y'all. Wilmington he, Island's a small island. Everybody knows everybody, y'all. He is so crazy, so he, he was just cussing. He was so upset because the fish is starting to bite. We were barely puttering along. And we pulled up to a yard and he said, I see a paddle up there. And I didn't know it at the time, but he wanted me to get that paddle so he could paddle across the pond and take one of his friend's batteries out of their boat at their dock. <laughs> but Randy will return them. Mama hasn't been fishing since, I know since Jack has been born. Such a fun place to be out on the water. Jamie, look at these strips. That first batch I dropped in, I think they're ready. You know, there's nothing like coming in at the end of a busy day and getting the family in the kitchen and getting them involved and just Fixing up some delicious, simple you think these are done, Mom? dishes. Yes, I do. Well, while because these are... beef, you know, I don't like my beef overcooked. While these are cool, and I'm going to do our sauce real quick. Okie doke. And I'm going to drop the rest of these that we've got crusted, Sonny Boy. Okay. And I'm starting with orange marmalade. It's one of Mom's favorite things. And I, I love it, too. It's I got the rind in it, so it's full uh -huh. of flavor. I'm going to start with a half a cup of marmalade. This is kind of an Asian dish, Mom. I'm using uh -huh. rice wine vinegar today. Okay. I've got a tablespoon. And I'm gonna put a squirt of Dijon, maybe okay. a maybe a teaspoon or so. Jack would like these, Jamie. I believe that he would. He's gonna have to make some more because his daddy's hungry. I'm gonna eat them now, and in the when we take a commercial break, I'm gonna load up a piece <laughs> of white bread with him. 
Y'all, you ought to see us on break. I tell y'all, we're cleaning up during break. We're cleaning up all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way we clean up. <laughs> yeah, you don't cut a silhouette like this, drying away from the white bread and fried steak. <laughs> Looks yummy. All righty, son. You can't get any easier and quicker than that, can you guys? Quick and easy. Come on down, son. Okay, I am starving. Mmm. Oh. A couple for, oops. Would you, here. If that's There's the one you plenty. had your eye on, you take that one. I'm just gonna go right into this bowl. <laughs> just the two of us. Like all of our parties are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have the best parties, y'all. No one's invited besides us and y'all. Mm. -hmm. <laughs> mm. You like? Mm. Yum. <laughs> mm. Yum. Delicious. And the grand part is it's it was like a sirloin steak, y'all. Not a real expensive cut of meat. Doesn't taste like it. Mm. Mm. This is a great start, but when we come back, we're gonna do one of my son's favorites. We're doing a pasta with a mushroom cream sauce. He could eat pasta every night, couldn't he? Yep, a little bit of shrimp in there. It's one of Jack's favorites. Y'all come back. We'll see y'all back in a minute. These mm. are delicious. Coming up next. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> for this delicious and easy company pasta. Later. It's time for something sweet. Y'all better get ready for this decadent cream cheese pound cake. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back. Now this is a recipe that's not only good enough for your family, this is good enough for company. This is a pasta that Jack loves, and it's pasta with a mushroom and shrimp cream sauce. Well, I'm slicing up your baby portobellas. Okay, we need about two cups of that, Mom. Okay. And I'm gonna chop up, I need a quarter of a cup of white onion, Mom. Okay. And y'all know that I'm gonna put these onions and that garlic down in that butter. Jack is loving him some pasta, isn't he? You know, what is it about kids? They, they like come with this gene that uh, says, I love macaroni and cheese, I love pasta. He just likes the plain pasta with a little butter or olive oil on it and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. That is the cutest kid I have ever seen. And those of you who are grandmothers out there, you can certainly identify with what I'm saying, can't you? He is so cute and We'd have had those first if we'd have had any idea. <laughs> All right, so one stick of butter. I'm gonna saute the, these onions, Mom, down in this pan. I want these onions to cook down just for a little bit. I don't want okay. them to be super crunchy. And as soon as these cook down, I want you to throw those mushrooms in okay. for me, okay? And I've got three cloves of garlic here. I remember Jack, his first bite of solid food was here in this kitchen. And I invited Brooke over. I think you were out of town. And I cooked some things that I knew Jack could eat. I made a squash casserole. Mm -hmm. I baked off some sweet potatoes. And that baby was sitting in his carrier seat. And I gave him a little bite of squash and sweet potatoes. And he was probably seven months old, six months old. And he looked up at me with those big brown eyes. And he said, mm -mm. <laughs> I said, all right. <laughs> okay, that looks good, Mom. Let's get those cooking. Yeah, let's get these mushrooms down in here. We'll cook them All right. a little bit. And I see you've got some kind of herb over here. That's an uh, Italian seasoning? Italian seasoning. Yes, ma'am. A teaspoon of okay. that, please. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a pinch of cayenne pepper. Uh-huh. Just give it a little bit of heat. Okay, Mom, this that is cooked down. Good. Yep, a half a cup okay. of white wine. I'm gonna kick that up, son. Okay, because we're... And let that wine kind of do its magic salt and pepper. Help it, help it. Let's go with a big pinch of salt, a little bit of black pepper. Yes. Two cups of heavy cream. 
All right, I've got your flame up on high. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get it done, get her done. And look, we have got all this beautiful fresh spinach over here that's gonna be going into our pot. I adore, adore, adore fresh spinach in pasta dishes. And I'm gonna add one lemon. People ask me all the time, Paula, how have you done it? How have you kept your son so close to you? And I say, well, honey, it's so easy. You start a business, you pay them, and they can't leave. <laughs> We're indentured. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, I've got about probably two pounds of shrimp here. Mm -hmm. And now that this sauce has gotten some temperature to it and it started mm -hmm. to bubble, mm -hmm. that's how we're gonna cook our shrimp. So I'm going. And Jamie, I noticed that um, you're leaving tails on. Sure, that's the handle. Oh my goodness, how delicious. And one thing about this dish, y'all, is you know, you can put things that you love in it. You know, kind of the sky's the limit. Our shrimp are starting to turn that beautiful pinky salmon color. So I think it's... Looks like it's spinach time. Yeah. This looks like a lot of spinach, y'all. It won't make a third of a cup by the time it's, it's gonna give wilted us, in there. It's just gonna give us a real pretty color. Oh. This looks awesome. We're gonna go in right on okay. top of our pasta. Isn't that good? All that creamy sauce is gonna just let that pasta just drink it all up. Mm-hmm. All right, Mommy, you ready? Ooh, I am so ready. Oh my goodness. Keep it simple and delicious and easy. Gotta have some good bread. I'm gonna wait on you. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. So good. This is exactly what we wanted to mm -hmm, do, y'all. Mm -hmm. It's a weeknight. Mm -hmm. It's simple and it's delicious. You know, I just love the portobellos. It's like eating meat. Mm -hmm. They're so meaty. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love everything, Jamie. Good. They make a good what burger. What a great job. Mm. Y'all yeah, don't go anywhere. Mm. Coming up next, we got a great dessert secret that you don't want to miss. We're going to show you what we're going to do with grilled plums on our pound cake. Like that. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all, we're back in the kitchen. Now it's time for something sweet. It's time for something else sweet. Oh, thank you, son. This is a cream cheese pound cake, and super simple. My number one favorite thing that our grandmother Paul made was pound cakes. She used a sour cream pound cake, and Bobby and I have done a version of that, but we're using cream cheese. So, yes. um, if cream you'll help me get makes started. A fabulous pound cake, too, y'all. Into our mixing bowl here, if mm -hmm. you will put, I need all three sticks of that butter. <laughs> When you get done, put that entire eight ounce package of cream cheese. Okay, in with my butter. Yes, ma'am. Okie doke. And I'm gonna add three cups of sugar. We're not skimping on the flavors of this one, Jamie. No, we're not. Okay, so I'm gonna cream up those if ingredients you that, for you. And I'm gonna crack six eggs. Okay. These are beautiful brown eggs. Thank you. My chickens do good. They lay good eggs. Mom, I'm gonna beat up these six eggs. Okay. I'll finish creaming that. Okay, well I got to turn it up now okay. that I got it. Three cups of flour in here, please. Okay. And a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, so this is an all-purpose flour. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Wanna measure those out perfectly, y'all because you've heard me say a thousand times, bacon is a formula. Mom, while you're doing that, I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Okay, now I'm gonna add our half a teaspoon okay. of bacon powder, and I'm just gonna take my whisk, y'all. You add our, and I'll blend. Our dry down here, our wet down there. So we're gonna start with dry yes, and end with dry. Okay. I'm just gonna walk around you every time. All right. I say it. 
Oh, yum, Jamie. That's beautiful that batter. That is good cake batter. Tell me why you got to end with dry. Because um, if you, it just makes for a smoother batter, son. You'll notice as we put in wet, how it takes on a, a more curdled look rather than mm -hmm. a smooth. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice when I drop the flour in, all of a sudden it takes back Smooths that back smooth out. look. Yeah. Uh huh. All righty, here we go. Are y'all getting drunk yet? Y'all getting dizzy <laughs> yet with me running back and forth? <laughs> It's a beautiful batter. Isn't that a beautiful batter? And this is gonna be my last drop of our liquid into the bowl. You know, pound cakes are so easy to bake. Uh, not a lot of ingredients and basically, it's a dense, wonderful cake and really hard to mess up. And pretty versatile too. You can do a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, you can with a pound stick cake. different flavors in them. Finally. Mm. Now we're going into this bump. Delicious. Pan. Yum, yum, yum. Let me help. All right. Remember the time that after we moved here to Savannah, I got this phone call. I had gone with a temporary agency to just find me a temporary job until I got to know the city. And they, they, this temporary agency found me a job at Memorial Hospital. And Bobby was in here in his, in, in there in his bedroom laying down watching TV. So I went in there and I said, Bobby, Bobby, guess what, son? The hospital called me and I'm gonna start to work there Monday. He said, oh, mama, that's great. I said, yes, son, but they're not going to let me do any extensive surgeries right <laughs> off. They're just going to have me doing tonsillectomies <laughs> and appendicitis surgeries. And he looked at me with the greatest admiration. He said, Mama, that is so good. <laughs> I said, that is a joke. Your mama cannot do surgery. But y'all tend to think that mamas and daddies <laughs> can do anything, even surgeries. <laughs> I thought that was so sweet. Okay, y'all, now that we've got our batter in our bunt pan, I'm gonna put this in the oven for an hour and 10 minutes at 325. Now, we told you that pound cake's very versatile. You can do a lot of different things with them. But when we come back, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with grilled plums on our pound cake. Y'all come back. It sounds fabulous, y'all. Up next, some dessert. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Got Jamie down there on that end. He's working on his grilled plums to go on top of this wonderful cream cheese pound cake. I'm gonna take these plums and I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on them, put them on the grill. Okie doke. And mom, I'm just gonna leave these on for a couple of minutes, just enough to okay. blister them. Okay. I'm ready to have some pound cake. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful the cake is. Y'all ready for a piece? Got our grilled plums on here with a little bit of fresh cream. Look at that incredible pound cake. And look at those delicious plums. I'm known for my Savannah style too, y'all. Tell me what you think about the pound cake. Okay. Mm. It's out of this world, son. This cake is insane. Y'all, I tell you what, there is not a boring day in the life of Paula Dean. Mm -hmm. I'm surrounded by so many colorful people. Like a peacock. We work hard. We love hard and we play hard. Mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell 
to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.